panels of this size, I mean, two, three hundred pounds each. Each. Times fourteen. Four thousand two hundred pounds. I can't do the math, so you've just done it. <laughs> Very expensive floorboards. Well, with the London Olympics being so much in the news, it seems entirely appropriate that you brought along this wonderful print of the Olympic champions at the first time the Games were held in London in 1908. And it was in the White City, wasn't it? It was in the White City, yes. Yes, and if we look at this print, we can see all the Olympic champions and one or two sports that we don't have these days, such as uh, the tug of war. And here you have tandem cyclists. I don't think we have tandems anymore these days, do we, in the velodrome? And look at this, terrific, a man hurling himself horizontally over the pole vault. And all the champions displayed, and I believe you're related to one of these people in the photograph. Yes, the, uh, the gentleman here with the megaphone was my great-grandfather, William Knight Smith. And uh, it was his job to report on what was going on and to give the results as well. Of course, no PA system in those days. No, 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 no PA system. No. And here we have the same megaphone that is featured in this print. The very one. Gosh. So that's come down through the family. It has. And also you brought along something which is quite incredible, a gold medal won at these Olympics. Yes. And if we have a look at it here, um, in its original leather case, Olympic Games winner, five miles run, London 1908. Five miles, they don't do that anymore because it's in meters, and I suppose five miles is about between five and 10,000 meters, isn't it? Yes, that yes. sort of distance. Yeah. And uh, there we have inside the gold medal, made of nine karat gold. On this side you can see uh, a picture of St. George and the Dragon. And if we turn it over, on the other side we have an athlete being crowned with a wreath of laurel leaves by two maidens. And who won it? This by, uh, was won by this man called Voigt. Here we are, number 29, yes. yes. Who, um, who was British, uh, he to hear his it. parents were immigrated from Germany, and he lived in Manchester. So how did the medal come here today, is that? It's owned by a, a friend of mine, and he asked me if I'd like to bring it. Well, I'm delighted that he did. Well, um, Olympic memorabilia is enormously sought after, and there are a lot of collectors, uh, and to see these three pieces together are absolutely wonderful. Now, I think the print, because it's so unusual, that print, and not many examples of its type come up, it would probably fetch four or five hundred pounds at auction. Really? That sort of thing. Yes. The megaphone, well, that's something entirely different. Uh, it's wonderful. And I believe you've got its original cane case as well. Yes, I have, yes. Yeah. yes. If it did come up at auction, I could see that fetching fifteen hundred, two thousand oh, pounds. Really? Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, we come to the gold medal that belongs to your friend. Olympic gold medals do not often appear on the market, and uh, there are a lot of collectors. I suspect if that came up at auction, it would probably fetch somewhere between six and eight thousand pounds, and on a good day, it might even make ten thousand pounds. Absolutely terrific.